After months of waiting and excitement, NASA's Artemis 1 mega rocket launch did not get to make its maiden flight today. The launch scrub due to an issue with an engine bleed in one of the rocket's four engines. A new launch date has not been confirmed yet. And James Sparvero with our sister station WKMG explains that the launch team will reconvene tomorrow to assess possible options. This is a brand new rocket. It's not going to fly until it's ready. SLS wasn't ready to fly Monday, NASA says, after bad weather of fuel leak and engine trouble. Administrator Bill Nelson and other Artemis One mission leaders now saying Friday could be the next launch attempt. NASA to make a decision as soon as Tuesday night. Managers say after reviewing what went well. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. And what went wrong Monday. The 32-story space launch system never getting within 40 minutes of its maiden flight. NASA saying crews are exhausted after working overnight and running out of time to fix everything within the two-hour launch window. There are millions of components of this rocket and its systems daunting when you bring it all into the focus of a countdown. And what today was was a test. Vice President Kamala Harris watching the countdown at Kennedy Space Center. Her perspective, like Administrator Nelson's, remains optimistic. And while a lot of folks might be disappointed that the launch did not actually happen, a lot of good work really happened today. If NASA moves forward with another attempt on Friday, that two-hour launch window would open at 1248 in the afternoon. We really need time to look at all the information, all the data. We're going to play all nine innings here, you know, and, and we're not ready to give up yet. Uh, clearly, a lot of us have been focused on, hey, what is going to happen? And this yes. is a, th a 3D printed model, if you will, of the Artemis One rock. Yeah, what our, one of our morning show producers created this himself. Yeah. And look at it, it weighs like nothing, which is fascinating <laughs> to me because I've never picked up a model that was printed with a 3D printer, right? But so it will go up. This is where the problem was from this morning because yeah. this is where the engine issue is. And these are the solid record boosters that just peel off, right? Boop, like that. And it takes off. We know that I'm much. Not, I'm not I sure know at the end much. of this if it will all go to back together like that. I'm sure NASA would prefer it that way. <laughs> I hope so. But we, we know that the mission here, the once effort. they get to it, and, and we're understanding that the next window, opportun uh, the, op the right. opportunity for them to launch would be on Friday, September 2nd here. Uh, but they don't believe they have to replace an engine. Uh, they just believe that uh, they're going to have to get back there and, and get another attempt here. We better get this thing away from me because I'm about ready to break it. I'm having way too much fun. Okay, <laughs> as you just said, Friday, 12.48 p.m., that's the next window for NASA to attempt the launch. So all of you who are out at the beach today or just running outside, right, this morning trying to get a glimpse of this, well, I'm sorry, but we will try again 12.48, and we'll be bringing you live coverage of the big event when it happens, and you'll find it on News for Jax and News for Jax Plus.